באיזה שנה אנחנו? באיזה שנה? אני באמת... יש דברים שאני... איך הם לא בטוח, אז אני מעדיף. מה זה? כדור. כדור. דגל. דגל. עץ. עץ. עכשיו תחזור. איזה מילים אמרתם? זה דגל. בגל ודגל. Alzheimer's disease is the most common form of dementia in the elderly, affecting about 5% of the population at the age of 65. This increases to more than 25% in subjects aged 85 years or more. Alzheimer's disease was originally described in 1907 by the German neuropathologist Alois Alzheimer in a 51-year-old woman with dementia. The characteristic features of Alzheimer's disease are global cognitive dysfunction, especially loss of memory, aphasia or speech difficulties. These patients also show changes in personality and behavior and lose their ability for self-care, such as dressing, washing and feeding. The behavioral changes result from a gradual shrinkage of the brain through loss of neural connections. As the brain substance decreases, the size of the ventricles increases. Neuronal loss occurs in areas controlling memory and language, but also in other areas. Memory loss is partially due to degeneration of neurons that release the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. After combining with specific receptors in the postsynaptic neuron to cause its effect, acetylcholine is rapidly destroyed by an enzyme called cholinesterase. Drugs that inhibit the action of cholinesterase improve memory and attention and reduce behavioral symptoms in a significant proportion of patients for up to about two years. By the time Alzheimer's disease is diagnosed, there is already a considerable loss of brain substance, which cannot be restored. Therefore, if we want to prevent the neuronal loss and disease development, treatment must be given at an earlier stage, one in which the subjects show only a mild degree of cognitive impairment compared to those with Alzheimer's disease. About 40 to 50 percent of subjects with mild cognitive impairment develop Alzheimer's disease within four to five years. Cholinesterase inhibitors do not alter the rate of conversion of mild cognitive impairment to Alzheimer's disease because they are not able to prevent the underlying causes of the disease. Examination of the brains of subjects with Alzheimer's disease and those with mild cognitive impairment reveals the presence of chemical changes denoted as oxidative stress that damage neurons. Oxidative stress results from the accumulation of noxious substances that are not eliminated efficiently in the aging brain. The resulting neuronal damage causes the activation of cells with immune function called glia to remove the cell debris. However, glia also release chemical substances like nitric oxide and cytokines, some of which may further impair neuronal activity. 
The aim of our research is to produce new drugs that can reduce oxidative stress and glial activation in order to prevent the degenerative process. We test our new drugs in cell cultures in which oxidative stress is induced by exposing the cells to hydrogen peroxide, which damages mitochondria, the energy source of the cell. This can be measured by the use of a special dye which changes from red to green. Treatment of the culture with our new drug protects the mitochondria which remain red and the cells stay alive and function. Like humans, rats develop memory deficits as they age and their brains show evidence of oxidative stress. Aged rats also have more activated glial cells than young rats. The glial cells release damaging cytokines as they do in patients with Alzheimer's disease. When middle-aged rats were treated with the new drug for six months, there was a decrease in oxidative stress and in glial activity to the levels seen in young rats. The drug also restored neurotrophic factors, which are essential for normal nerve activity. Prior to the histological examination, we tested the spatial memory of the rats in a water maze in which we determined how many trials it took until they could find a hidden escape platform. Young rats learned to find the escape platform within about 20 seconds after only a few trials, while the untreated old ones take much longer. Middle-aged rats that had been treated for several months with the new drug performed much better in old age than the untreated ones, indicating that their learning ability and spatial memory had been largely preserved. If this drug also prevents the development of oxidative stress and glial activation in human subjects with mild cognitive impairment, it may be able to reduce the number of such subjects that eventually develop Alzheimer's disease. Mm -hmm.